Mr. Anthony Wolter Kane, can you please show your card? There we go, can you see that? Yes, thank you very much. I know you have a lot of experience in the use and development of health clubs for water and, and, and sanitation and hygiene issues That's right, in yeah. Africa. Can you share a, f a few key points on, on why they are so effective and, and a few examples? Yeah, I think uh, the, well, it's community health clubs. I mean, they've been going now for 15 years, started in Zimbabwe, and they've just been spreading everywhere. They've gone to East Africa, Rwanda right now, the, is, is they, they've taken on as a national way of achieving behavior change very cost effectively so the president of Rwanda has decided that every village across the whole country should have a health club, community health club and Zimbabwe is doing the same thing where it started but it's now a national policy that health clubs are going everywhere. They've gone to East Africa, West Africa, South Africa both in the rural and in the urban settings and it's, it's the whole idea is that you achieve a holistic broad-based um, preventative health that's what it's doing. It's not just looking at sanitation. Of course, hygiene and sanitation is a key part of it, but it's not just looking at open defecation as the be-all and end-all. It's looking at the broad thing that a householder can do in his own home to achieve health and, and, and ultimately climb out of poverty. And that's the results we've been getting. Very exciting. And it's actually moved beyond uh, Africa now. It's actually gone to Vietnam and uh, it's, it's spreading all over Vietnam, it seems, by the Ministry of Health in Vietnam. Oh. So it's now, we could say, Africa and Asia. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's proved itself to be a very cost-effective way of achieving behavior change in a holistic, broad-based way. So Does this in any of, the, of the, uh, the countries that you mentioned, the examples that you mentioned, link up also with income generating Absolutely, it's the start, and, it's and, the entry and, point. And, yeah. It's the entry point for development basically. That's on something non-contentious like how to, have, how to achieve health for your children, that's not contentious. Every parent wants to have a healthy child and there's nothing worse than having a sick or dying child. So it starts with that, there's no contention, there's no gifts, there's no subsidies of any sort whatsoever and from there they achieve the basics of an improved sanitation, hand washing, improved environment, zero open defecation, ZOD as we call it, and, um, and then they move on to nutrition gardens and income generation, a huge raft of, of generating activities. So it's basically achieving health and achieving poverty reduction in one, in one uh, methodology. Yeah, yeah. You started this yourself, more or less, in, in Zimbabwe. My right? wife. My wife, wife started uh, it 15 Juliet, years ago. 15 years ago in Zimbabwe. Ago. Yeah. And for, in fact, she's just gone to Vietnam right now. The, yesterday, she, she went to Hanoi. Uh, just following it up, in, in, they're trying it all over the, the place in, in, uh, in, in Vietnam, as I say. But in Rwanda, it's very exciting because the, uh, it's been taken nationally very, very rapidly. And we'll all be able to see it because it's uh, going to be on display at the, um, the Africa Sand 3, which is taking place, as I'm sure you know, in Kigali from the 19th to the 21st of July. And uh, community health clubs, or as they call them there, community hygiene clubs, will be showcased. So we'll be able to see a lot of people will be able to see them for themselves. Very good to hear. Thanks very much, Mr. Wodeke. No, good.